it sizzles and smokers it's the sunday night football cooking show it's denver and kansas city we're doing denver go watch Corey's awesome uh kansas city barbecue video if you want them don't touch the channel don't move stay where you're at because we're redoing something you've had a million times the denver sandwich it, and i know denver sandwiches no offense denver they stink they're terrible Unless you're shopping for groceries at like a Walmart garbage can, you're not going to put green peppers and uh, some bad ham. No, we're not doing that. This is sizzle and smoke style. Look at that. This is the Denver sandwich reimagined. We got this awesome. Oh, you can hear the sizzle. It's salted pork. Kind of like bacon. Close enough like bacon, you can use it. But if you see salted cured pork in a little tiny container, you grab it. Got our beautiful triangle bread, ciabatta, we'll be toasting that off. Got our bacon down. But first, let me give you the trick for making eggs. And this goes for any time. In your house, you're making eggs, whatever. Don't put them straight on the grill. Crack them. We're going with four eggs. It's like working at a breakfast place here. Now here's the secret. This is a quarter cup of milk. So to get great eggs and our sizzle and smoke seasoning, come on. People are buying it. People are loving it. Get yourself some. The secret to great eggs is to get some air in there. You don't really need to see. I'm just whipping it up. This is what restaurants do, French chefs do. Incorporate some air, kind of like you hear bacon, into your eggs. So if you like scrambled eggs, seriously, you got to try that. Now, we can't put those on because they'll be done too fast. I'm going to cook our bacon. Now, our sizzling smoke style Denver bacon. One small chopped onion. One medium chopped red pepper. Ooh. Two fresh jalapenos, wafting up. And some mushrooms. Now, I want you to our, uh, we put some hot sauce on these mushrooms. I do that all the time. Go to our How to Make Your Franks Red Hot sauce video. Check that out. And like we're not just using this to use it. This stuff is awesome. It really works with onions. Sure works with bacon. Works with that. It doesn't overpower anything. It just blends right in. You don't need the salt and pepper. Oh, I like what I'm seeing here. Okay, looking probably at a five minute cook time. Hello to everybody in Mexico. We love that you're subscribing and watching. United States, Canada. Uh, give us five minutes, we'll come on back. stuff in. That's how easy she is, folks. Denver, quit smoking your dope. You're flying around in the mountains and doing all that kind of stuff. Fix your sandwiches, guys. Your sandwiches are weak. This is the new Denver sandwich. Get our bread on. All right, folks, we're cooking with gas. We're making Denver realize they're a bunch of hacks. 
that their sandwiches are weak. They have nothing. Nothing but what? What do, what do dope guys eat? Munchies, Doritos. Yeah, bunch of Doritos. Cheetos. Stuff. Cheetos. Yeah, come on. Get out there, get cooking. I could flip this. I choose not to flip. No, we're gonna let her cook up like this because I actually I like all that look. Oh yeah, the eggs are fluffy under there. Your bread's toasting. The pork is sizzling. When you wake up on Sunday and you're like, I'm gonna watch some Denver, Kansas City. How would you make your wife and kids, your family, yourself, an awesome Denver sandwich? And you can tell people about it at work. Be like, I had a Denver sandwich. They're going to be like, who cares? That sucks. And then you say, no, no. Not the sizzle and smoke Denver. All right. A couple more minutes of this. We'll plate her up. Show you how we done. All right, boys and girls. We're back for the plating. Try some of this amazing salt pork. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've tasted roadkill. It tastes better than that, Chef. That's terrible. That is complete salt. There. Holy man. Wow. That is, um, I, I can't describe that. that, that is, that's horrendous. Horrendous. That is like licking a, a, a piece of, not even a piece of salt. It's like licking an iceberg of salt. You ever been to the farm and they got the salt blocks sitting there for the yeah. cows? Woo. This is saltier. Son 100% of a... that's saltier. <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that stuff that I, that I put on there. It yeah, looked cool. Take regular bacon, your breakfast bacon, throw that on there for the love of you know. Mexico, even you're not liking to have that much salt in your food because that was that was that was interesting. That was Finland. Maybe Finland would like that salt cod. There's the obviously cod. It's different when it's fish, not pork, yeah. But <laughs> something else needed to be done to that. Yeah. Washed in water. It must have had to be soaked before you cook it. Woo. That was, that was intense. Okay. I think that burned my taste buds. We we might be so toasted we don't even know if this is good. Well, we come on, we do know. Maybe, maybe that's why they get so high in Denver because they use that <laughs> stuff. That's what they have to do to eat it. <laughs> Denver's food is so bad, they have to get totally whacked out on salt pork. And I can't even say where I got it from because it's one of our stores. You know that we like in town. Absolutely. Well. It they be, don't know. Maybe, they maybe sell the, it. They don't cook it. Maybe the butcher screwed up. We mm. don't know. He, he might have thought it was supposed to be sugar, and he put in salt, because that was messed I don't up. Know. That's uh, interesting. Oh. You know, probably some cheese on here would be okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking that now. Cheese would be great. Okay, try it without the cheese. Okay. We'll get some cheese. I don't know if, my, if I'll be able to taste this even. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the crunch, baby. This should be like in a truth or dare video, this stuff. You give that to your dog, his lips are going to shrivel up. He's going to spit it out. The <laughs> dog ain't going to eat that. But how's the good part? How's, mm. the, how's the Mile High Denver? I love how all the ingredients aren't diced so small you don't know what they are. Yep. They're big, you can taste them, you know they're there. Big fluffy eggs. The eggs are great. Yeah, like a... a Sizzle and smoke's good. The bun nicely toasted, it's perfect. A normal Denver sandwich, all you're tasting is some mushy eggs. Absolutely. It's kind of something you have... The only thing I'm missing is, is some bacon or ham. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well, if you want a uh, micro bite... Oh, wow. It's good. I would eat this for breakfast every day. It's almost like pizza. It's good. 
Pizza has cheese though. Mm. <laughs> you don't need the cheese on this. I think it would taste great with some cheese on mm -hmm. too. But no. A nice Monterey Jack would be good. Some smoked cheddar. This is in the nectarines. It can't be in the plums because of the pork. This is in the nectarines. See, most people would cut that out. Not even show you that pork. We show you the pork. Because what if that happens to you? Yeah, be careful. Get, get some bacon. Don't put any salt on it. Just keep her light with this. Because we have so many good flavors in the mushrooms and onions. And well, you didn't add any jalapeno. salt to that. You just put some sizzle and smoke seasoning, right? Yeah. No, and That's no. not salty. <laughs> Something evil was done to that pork. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what. <laughs> Something really wrong was done to that pork. <coughs> Makes you wonder if it's actually pork. It could be squirrel meat or something. No. Mm. This triangle bread's a winner. The big ingredients, like Corey said, is a winner. It's in the frickin' nectarines. Mm -hmm. We got the flames going. We got Mexico going. USA. That's good. Sunday night football. That's the Denver sandwich reimagined. Get after it. See you next week, folks. <laughs>